What's up everybody? It's Trip with Sega and Such here on YouTube and this video we're going over a little hammock here. Now when I pick my foot up off the ground, I'm committed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna roll this way. One, two, three. Oh boy. This is a Avion Gear hammock. And this company reached out to me and said, hey Trip, we'd like to send you some hammocks some to give away and one to keep and to try for yourself and do a little review video on so that's what I'm doing today checking out this cool hammock I've never laid in one of these never seen one put up never even taken it out of the bag yet so we're gonna do that today and kind of check it out now this is a pretty good hammock I'll go ahead and tell you uh, it's got a good price point okay it's 33 bucks on Amazon right now and it comes with tree straps and it comes with carabiners everything you need to basically hang it and lay in it uh, I know my hammock I paid like 55 maybe 60 bucks or so for it shipped which was which is pretty pricey compared to this and that doesn't come with tree straps or anything that was just a piece of fabric I had to gather the ends and everything so this just comes ready to go in the bag for 33 bucks that's hard to argue with folks that's hard to argue with all right let's put it up see how she does all right open this bad boy up let's see we've got two sets of tree straps or not two sets we've got two tree straps and these are interesting because uh, okay this is the part that goes around the tree and then on the end it has just loops all the way down it uh, the end portion of it so you can adjust it to different uh, however you like your hammock sag and how far apart your trees are and things like that so we've got two of those pretty sweet they feel very stout lots of fabric in those things and here we've got our hammock, which is of course integrated into the bag, and it's got your gathered ends with your carabiner on it, and the carabiner feels really good, really strong, probably better than any carabiner I have. <laughs> so, okay, good quality carabiners for sure. Unfortunately, me being a big lover of hammocks, my backyard isn't perfect. I don't have the just the perfect trees in the backyard, so I'm using my truck and the front runner rack on top took the hammock too on one side and just this tree over here okay so let's take the loop side wrap it around about as high as we can go feed it through the loop pull it through center it down then we'll do the same thing over here in the truck That's a little too short. Well, we can fix that. It's okay. I think. I want this to rest to here. Like that. there it's a little low it's a little low I've got too much strap so what I can do is the same thing I did over there basically I can just flip the strap around and I can have the loops on the upper half versus the bottom half well I'll show you guys what I mean now we've got loops on this portion pretty easy that's a pretty versatile part of the system I like that I like that Feels about. All right, maybe. We'll... Okay. Oh, it's always nerve-wracking getting in a hammock for the first time. Oh. It works. <laughs> it's pretty decent size too. Okay, so I've laid in a little bit. I think I like it. Oh, that camera needs to be tilted down some. Hold up. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I think I like it. And you know, I'm always learning something new. I learned something new today. Or something I've kind of heard about but never really noticed a big difference. But that's in the stretchiness of the fabric. Now the fabric in this hammock is somewhat stretchy, which I've just learned that I like. 
I like it when the fabric is stretchy because it kind of conforms to you better and you feel a little safer in it because it has a little spring to it versus my other hammock. The fabric, I feel like it doesn't stretch. I'm actually going to set it up whenever I'm done doing this. Uh, and I don't feel as, as safe in it, but I feel safe in this thing. I think, and I think that's in part because it's stretchy and because it's kind of, you know, it kind of bounces and gives a little bit, you know? <laughs> Excuse the pit sweat. It's really hot. It's southeast Alabama. It's humid. And I sweat, okay? I exercise a lot, so I sweat. Sometimes that's just part of it. I think the camera still needs to be tilted down. Let's tilt it down. And I like, it's not bad getting in and out of it, too. And again, because it's stretchy. I don't know, it just, it just feels good because it's stretchy. Granted, it's got these little red flaps here that, uh, not really sure they're serving me a good purpose other than maybe blocking my view or something of the beauty when I'm out kayak camping or stuff something but you know whatever I mean it is a double hammock so it's rated for like I don't know 600 something I, don't know. I can't remember a lot of weight so you know it'll hold you up so you can potentially share the hammock but I don't know I don't know how well sharing is gonna go in a hammock but whatever if you wanted to give it a shot, give it a shot. But I like it. It lays really good. And I'm just rambling on and talking a lot. One of my buddies at the fire department told me about one of his friends when he was on his like training or whatever little thing that they do. <laughs> he had a hammock and he got in it from the underside and got out from the underside like upside down. So I'm about to try that. <laughs> it sounds fun. It sounds cool. But I like the hammock. I didn't think I'd like it this much, but I like the hammock. Thank you, Todd, for sending me the hammock. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun trip. It's okay. I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> and for this trick, I've elected to raise the hammock up a little bit. So that, uh, so that I have farther to fall and hit the ground. Should I screw up or when I screw up. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to try and enter the hammock from upside down. <laughs> this doesn't seem right. I need to get this other camera going. This is going to be good. Okay, got my little Kodak going down there if you can see it. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay. I did I did Google it or YouTube it real quick, see how someone was doing it. You put your foot up in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright. Now when I pick my foot up off the ground, I'm committed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, I'm gonna roll this way. One, two, three. Oh boy. It worked. It's not too bad. Now let's see about the dismount. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Hold on. I could move this other camera. Oh boy. I'm up here. Oh. I gotta move this camera. That'll work. Alright, so I was in it. Get back in it. Uh, here, going the other way. Okay. Now for the dismount. What if I just went? Nope. What if I went? I can't make it all the way over. <laughs> Come on. Let's go this. Let's go the other way. Hold on. What if I kick the leg out? <laughs> that worked, but it wasn't graceful. Okay, we gotta get graceful at it. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we just went like there we go. That was better. I don't know how I did it, but that was better. Okay, here we go. One, two. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. So I just kick the leg out and step with that same leg. So back in it. So you just kind of, you just got to step out nicely. That works pretty good. I know I'm a little crazy, but that's what makes it fun, people. You got to make life fun. Cool. And of course, someone starts doing yard work. All right, let's get in it again. Wait this way. Yep. 
There we go. There we go. <laughs> Hope you can see me. Let's slide over here closer to you. Oh. So what do I think about the Avion gear hammock? It's a good hammock. I like it. I think I put it to a pretty good test. It didn't break on me while I was doing all my nonsense. But like I said, it just it makes me feel safer in it. Like, like my other one, my big black one, my new one, I don't, I don't feel safe in it for some reason. Maybe because I have a little hole in it from when I fell out of it down a cliff. But, but I also don't think it's just this stretchy. I'm about to get it out and try it. But, but hey, if you're looking for a good entry-level hammock that has everything you need, I see nothing wrong with this one. Buy it, try it. You know, if you like it, you can step up to some, you can learn all about hammocking. There's a lot of different things to, lo to learn, a lot of different ways to rig your hammock. You know, maybe a ridge line and things, but you know, just to see, get your feet wet, absolutely nothing wrong with this. Go for it, get it. You know, it's a lot cheaper than an Eno. <laughs> I promise you that. And it comes with everything you need for $33. Come on. Oh. I could just lay here, but I got some more filming to do for you guys. All right, folks. Congrats to everyone who already won the hammock. They already gave them away. Because I've been meaning to do this video for a while, but I wish we had done it already because I had a lot of fun making it. All right. Time for the dismount. Let's see here. How'd I do it? Here we go. Oh. That doesn't look as cool as I wanted to. I want to just like flip upside down and stay upside down. If I can do that. Let's see. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Whatever. Whoop. <laughs> Catch you guys later. <laughs> all right, take care. God bless. Thank you all for watching my silly shenanigans. Thanks for cutting your grass, buddy. <laughs> See y'all.